God, come to my assistance. Lord, make haste to help me. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and will be forever. Amen. Alleluia. Alleluia, Alleluia, Alleluia. The strife is o'er, the battle done. Now is the victor's triumph won. Oh, let the song of praise be sung. Alleluia, 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 Alleluia. On the third morn he rose again. Glorious in majesty to reign. O oh, let us swell the joyful strain. Alleluia. 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 The Lord is my stronghold and my Savior. Alleluia. Psalm 144, Part 1. Blessed be the Lord my rock, who trains my arms for battle, who prepares my hands for war. He is my love, my fortress. He is my stronghold, my Savior. He brings peoples under my rule. Lord, what is man that you care for him? Mortal man that you keep him in mind, man who is merely a breath, whose life fades like a shadow. <clears throat> Excuse me. <clears throat> Lower your heavens and come down. Touch the mountains, wreathe them in smoke, flash your lightnings, rout the foe, shoot your arrows and put them to flight. Reach down from heaven and save me. Draw me out from the mighty waters, from the hands of alien foes, whose mouths are filled with lies, whose hands are raised in perjury. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and will be forever. Amen. The Lord is my stronghold and my Savior. Alleluia. Thanks be to God who has given us the victory through our Lord Jesus Christ. Alleluia. Psalm 144, Part 2. To you, O God, will I sing a new song. I will play on the ten-stringed harp to you who give kings their victory, who set David your servant free. You set him free from the evil sword. You rescued him from alien foes, whose mouths were filled with lies, whose hands were raised in perjury. Let our sons then flourish like saplings, grown tall and strong from their youth. Our daughters, graceful as columns, as adorned as though for a palace. Let our barns be filled to overflowing with crops of every kind our sheep increasing by thousands, myriads of sheep in our fields, our cattle heavy with young. No ruined wall, no exile, no sound of weeping in our streets. Happy the people with such blessings, happy the people whose God is the Lord. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and will be forever. Amen. Thanks be to God who has given us the victory through our Lord Jesus Christ. Alleluia. Christ, yesterday and today, he is the same forever. Alleluia. From the book of Revelation. We praise you, the Lord God Almighty, who is and who was. You have assumed your great power 
you have begun your reign. The nations have raged in anger, but then came your day of wrath and the moment to judge the dead, the time to reward your servants, the prophets, and the holy ones who revere you, the great and the small alike. Now have salvation and power come, the reign of our God and the authority of his anointed one. Excuse me. For the accuser of our brothers is cast out who night and day accused them before God. They defeated him by the blood of the Lamb and by the word of their testimony. Love for life did not deter them from death. So rejoice, you heavens, and you that dwell therein. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and will be forever. Amen. Christ, yesterday and today. He is the same forever. Alleluia. A reading from the first letter of St. Peter. The reason why Christ died for sins once for all, the just man for the sake of the unjust, was that he might lead you to God. He was put to death in so far as fleshly existence goes, but was given life in the spirit. He went to heaven and is at God's right hand, with angelic rulers and powers subjected to him. The disciples rejoiced, Alleluia, Alleluia, when they saw the risen Lord, Alleluia, Alleluia. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit. The disciples rejoiced, Alleluia, Alleluia. I am the shepherd of my sheep. I have come that they may have life and have it more abundantly. Alleluia. My soul proclaims the greatness of the Lord. My spirit rejoices in God my Savior, for he has looked with favor on his lowly servant. From this day all generations will call me blessed. The Almighty has done great things for me, and holy is his name. He has mercy on those who fear him in every generation. He has shown the strength of his arm. He has scattered the powerful in their conceit. He has cast down the mighty from their thrones and has lifted up the lowly. He has filled the hungry with good things and the rich he has sent away empty. He has come to the help of his servant Israel for he has remembered his promise of mercy the promise he made to our fathers, to Abraham and his children forever. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and will be forever. Amen. I am the shepherd of my sheep. I have come that they may have life, and have it more abundantly. Alleluia. The Father has established in Christ the foundation of all our hope and the principle of our resurrection. Let us rejoice in Christ and cry out to him, saying, Lord Jesus, through your resurrection, you entered the sanctuary of heaven to offer the blood of your own sacrifice. Lead us with you into the glory of the Father. Through your resurrection, you confirmed the faith of your disciples and sent them out into the world. Make all bishops, priests, and deacons faithful preachers of the gospel. Through your resurrection, you became our peace and reconciliation. Unite the baptized in perfect communion of faith and love. Through your resurrection, the crippled man was healed at the gate of the temple. Look on the sick and reveal in them the power of your glory. You became the firstborn from the dead, the firstfruits of the resurrection. Grant to the dead who hoped in you a share in your glory. 
Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread and forgive us our trespasses as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Let us pray. Father, in restoring human nature, you have given us a greater dignity than we had in the beginning. Keep us in your love and continue to sustain those who have received new life in baptism. We ask this through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God forever and ever. Amen. May the Lord bless us, protect us from all evil, and lead us to everlasting life. Amen.